Loris Capirossi, welcome at the Monaco World Sport Legends Award, the Oscar of Sport. You are a true legend, you are a great champion, a sporting star, and you have been a MotoGP champion, world champion for three times. You had a very long career, which is the secret of your longevity. Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I am really honored to be here today and to receive that uh, great award. I think uh, it's been only for passion because the motorsport, the motorbike for me is, is like my life, you know. And uh, to do 22 seasons because it's my passion is still really strong. Yeah, passion is the secret of everything. 100 percent. The secret is uh, the passion and uh, they, they enjoy because always I say that to ride a motorcycle is not the job. It's like a big, big passion. This is the big secret. Yes, and you know that we award our champions uh, also for the values that they transmit to the young generations. And I think so that the value you want to transmit is first of all passion and uh, what as well. Yeah, well, you know, always uh, I do my sport with uh, full heart, you know. Anytime uh, I like to be really, really friendly with everybody. Always, uh, you know, I try to transmit to the young rider the sport helping you to improve yourself, you know. Exactly, and to go over the limits. Over the limit always, you know. And, uh, and also, you know, sometimes when you have carried longer like mine, you know, it's, you have bad moments and good moments, but always I am with a smile on my face. And which have been the bad moments? Well, the bad moment uh, is well, many, because many. Uh, in motorbike it's easy to have an uh, injury and crash. But uh, I never forget in uh, Australia 2005 when I crashed uh, at around 300 km per hour and I have a, a big crash there. Yeah. And uh, at that time uh, I really, I start to thinking, you know, to say, hey, Loris, maybe it's a good time to stop, but I race another six years after that. <laughs> yes, yeah. you could go over oh, go again, over the, over yes, the limits. Yes, yes. And maybe uh, Dr. Costa that was with us last year because he won the best values award to have created the, the MotoGP clinic, the yeah, bike right. clinic. Maybe he helped you uh, during your career. Well, it's easy to say Claudio is like uh, my second father because uh, when I started racing in the World Champion in 1990, it's behind me. And I, st I, I met him in uh, my first injury is uh, 88, and this is the first you time. You remember I, each one of, of these injuries? This is my really first one <laughs> when I start racing, and I meet Claudio on that time. And uh, for all my career, is behind me always. And uh, when you ride and you know you have uh, Dr. Costa behind, you feel more safe. You feel more safe, <laughs> and I really love him. How, how do you see the, the future of uh, moto in general? How do you see these young people that approach now this sport? Yeah, well, uh, I say our sport is still growing really, really fast. And uh, we have uh, a lot of new generation coming uh, because it's normally it's like, uh, you know, a big circle. We have riders, big top riders stopping and new one yes. coming. But now I say, start really young because people start to approach a motorcycle around four year old and four, four year old yeah. and growing and growing but for sure i see a great future for motorcycle because it's a really nice part you have some names that uh, we have to keep yeah, an yeah. eye on yeah well i say uh, right now is uh, italian uh, italian rider and spanish rider is the the stronger one because behind we have a good school but we're working really hard to the, for Asian, for Middle East, uh, for uh, North uh, Europe, and we open the future to have to have uh, different champions uh, from everywhere. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So it's really an international 100%. world, and I know that you are as well a safety advisor right. for the the MotoGP races. Which is your role exactly? Yeah, my role is uh, I am of one of the three people working inside of the race direction of MotoGP. And for uh, safety, we try to improve uh, year by year our racetrack. We, we are involved of the new one coming to, to give uh, to the rider 
the safety racetrack we can. And this is, I think, in, in the last uh, 15 years, we improve a lot, the safety. That, that's great. Yeah. And uh, do you remember the first day you've been on a circuit? Yes, I never forget. How old were you? I am 14 uh, year old. The first uh, road racing, because I start with motocross. Four year to 14, I do motocross. And 14, I start with road racing. And my first race in Italy is, uh, I have uh, just uh, 14 year old. And I never forget that moment because this is the really first time I ride the road bike. I, I go out from the pit lane, the first corner I crash. This is why I never forget. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. And what a long way till today, yeah. as now you will be awarded as a, a sporting legend with the Monaco World Sport Legends Award, and uh, which is your feeling in receiving this prize? Yeah, well, like I say, I am really, really honored about that, you know. I feel uh, happy. I feel, you know, lucky guy because I do in all my life the sport I love. And also right now is uh, to receive a great uh, award like that is like the top. Okay, I'm really happy about that too because you are a great champion and thank you to be with us. <laughs> it's really a pleasure. Thank you very much. A kiss. Thank you. <laughs>